Dr. Ducades. My name's Lori. I'm one of the nurse practitioners with the Thrombo team here at the hospital. And today we're going to learn about uh, how to self-inject the low molecular weight heparins. Um, I know that uh, you've been diagnosed with a blood clot, so you need the injections to help treat that blood clot. So we're going to teach you how to do it, and I'm going to work you through your first injection so that you can do it at home by yourself and feel assured that you're doing it correctly. Okay? Thank Any you, Lori. You're welcome. Um, have you ever injected yourself before? No, this no. would be the first time. Okay, great. You may know people that are diabetic and maybe inject insulin. It's very similar to that technique. It goes into the uh, what we call the subcutaneous or fatty tissue, generally in the stomach or the abdomen, and uh, very simple to inject. And so I think once we work through it once, you'll feel much more comfortable. So let me work you through the steps of how to inject the injections. We've got here a variety of different injections um, that uh, the different heparins that we are familiar with. Um, so you may be prescribed any one of these. Uh, the first thing we do when we inject ourselves is to get everything ready. So in this case, it involves the alcohol swabs as well as the injection itself. And just a side note, the injections are kept at room temperature. We don't put these in the fridge like we do the insulins. It's just at room temperature. That's, that's where we like to keep them. So the first step before we inject ourselves is to wash our hands. So maybe we can just sanitize our hands with the hand sanitizer to get ourselves ready. The next step in the process, and you know, if you had a family member here with you, we'd also invite them in to, um, to learn as well, but I know you're here by yourself today. Uh, the next step in the injection technique is getting the area ready where you choose to inject. So there are a couple of different locations that we can choose to inject low molecular weight heparin. The first one, and the one we use mainly, and the one we use in the hospital, is the abdomen. And so it's kind of this chunk here. It's a, rather a large space, um, but you know, a couple of inches below the belly button, and uh, you know, over to the basically the hip bones. Um, the other spot that we can inject is the front of your thigh, and that's because there's a little bit of um, you know tissue there as well. That's generally a little bit fatty on most people and so that's the front of the thigh looking like this. The other spot where sometimes we give um, other types of subcutaneous injections but generally we steer away from with the blood thinners is the um, you know the upper arm and we tend to avoid that because of you know your deltoid muscle that big muscle at the top of your um, shoulder uh, is close to the skin and so we don't want to inject into a muscle the goal here is to get into some fatty tissue. So, Lur? No, that's very clear. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna get the area ready where we're intending to inject. So, did you wanna do the top of your thighs or your abdomen today? I'm gonna go with the abdomen. You're gonna go with I've the abdomen. I've got more fatty tissue there. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so, we'll, we'll trial each of these injections and maybe we'll give you the, um, uh, just one of the injections to yourself. But, so we're gonna take an alcohol swab. I'll just review the technique with you before you go ahead and inject yourself. So I too will choose the abdomen. Um, so I've already washed my hands. The next thing I'm gonna do is, um, is take the injection and the uh, alcohol swab. You just tear it open, it's quite simple. You tear it open and then you get the alcohol swab out. I th I then I'm gonna proceed with wiping rather a large area because if I just do a little spot, I won't remember exactly the clean spot that I've just readied for injection. So I, I tend to do a rather large area. The next thing you do is you, you've got the syringe. The caps are generally hard to get off on purpose because um, you know we don't want them falling off in the packaging. So we hold the injection by the barrel of the syringe as opposed to the top here. You will notice that there's a liquid inside. That is the, that's the low molecular weight heparin in the syringe. And generally there's an air bubble in there. Uh, a lot of people have questions about that air bubble, but it is preloaded into the syringe. And the purpose of the air bubble is that when you inject, it actually uh, pushes all the medicine out of the needle. So the air bubble, in fact, will end up in the tip of the syringe, pushing all the medication out of the, out of the tip of the needle similar to what we see in vaccine, vaccinations. 
Um, so I'll just go ahead and um, give, pretend to give this injection to myself. I'm going to hold it by the barrel of the syringe, pull off the cap of the needle, and then proceed to inject. Oops, I'm not going to inject that. You'll notice in this injection, it's called what we have a preloaded syringe, and so the needle is now up in the barrel of the syringe. So the needle has not broken off in my abdomen, rather it's more of a safety precaution and it's up in the barrel of the syringe. So, um, you know, there's nothing to poke myself. Um, so there's uh, one example of a low molecular weight heparin syringe. So I'd like now for you to try it yourself if you don't have any questions. No, so I'm gonna get my area exposed yeah. here. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've already washed your hands, sanitized your hands. hands. Uh, got a nice big area here. Mm -hmm. And you have a different type of syringe this where is it's a little different. It is. Yeah. It's got a safety measure here, and this is uh, called a needle guard. And so what we want to do with this with this type of medication is hold the needle guard back, and then we hold it. And again, you're holding it by the barrel of the syringe. You're going to pull off the the needle cap, which again is a little bit sticky, and then. This as well has an air bubble in, and uh, don't worry, that will end up in the needle. And then you're gonna pull the cap off and then inject. So you go ahead, I'll let you do that all by yourself. Okay, just pull off the top. Yeah, and just hold that. And then hold it in the barrel. And just pinch an inch, yep. Yeah. And you inject straight in at a 90 degree angle, just like a T. And there you go, and you keep pushing the plunger all the way down. Now just, when you're done, yeah, that's exactly right you're going to push the needle into that thing. And again, it's a safety measure so that you don't poke yourself. That how did, was pretty how easy. did that go? It's, it's fairly I straightforward. I hardly felt it. You're, you're, I'm sure you didn't. Your advice was the greatest, thank you. There you go. And just another thing, some people get a little gun shy when they are giving the, the syringe. Um, I know I had to give myself my injection once and when you, um, when you know you go like this you might get a little gun shy but one way to overcome that fear is once you've cleaned you put the needle right on the syringe or right on your belly and then you push in so uh, you know put the needle on the skin and then push and then you inject so that's another way to overcome that that kind of gun shy fear and that's it now of course we want to remember that these are needles they don't go in the garbage they don't go in recycling We'll put them aside and if we have a sharps container which you may get from your pharmacy or you know an old peanut butter jar or tupperware container is just as good and you can bring those back to the pharmacy that you purchased your um, your heparin from excellent job dr decatis thank you very much uh, Lori. you're very, welcome very helpful and i hope this is also helpful helpful for patients and their family members who need to administer heparin or low molecular weight heparin to prevent and treat blood clots. Thank you.